Hello everybody, my name is Shinigami Care 50 and welcome back to my 20th episode of my Let's Play of Star Wars The Old Republic. Wow. Uh, last episode, we managed to find, uh, uh Aronicus is, um, arch-rival, his old first mate who, um, shit, I know the word for this. I do, I know it, I know it. It's, it's, it's on the tip of my tongue. Ah, oh, I just, I, ah. Oh. Mew need him. That's what I was looking for. Thank you. Uh, who Mew need him and basically took over all his, 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 uh, ship. And, uh, I let him kill him. And now we're finding the part of the crew that he sent to protect all his, um, cargo. However, they betrayed him because the relic made them mad, and we are just north of them, like... They are, like, within sight, so I'm not gonna make a cut here. I'm just gonna go straight there, because they should be, like, right around there-ish. Ah, that is a sand person. Ah, I don't want sand people. Are they... Aha! Uh -huh. Right, so... Come on. There we go. You have to die. Come on, game. Come on. Damn it. Oh, yay. That glitch. Kill him! What do you mean I can't see the target? Bullshit. Oh, look at this bullshit! Give it up, he's dead. Okay, so let's turn myself visible. There we go, there's that one taken care of. Uh, grab the data pad. We've been in this desert for three days now. About midday, the day we left, Nautic tried to turn back, but the haze. We forced Nautic to continue at gunpoint at nightfall. We got together and talked about what we would to do about Nautic. Hayes wanted to shoot him, but Hayes wants to shoot everyone. But when the sand people attacked us and took Nautic for us, ever since that first night, we kept a watch to warn us if the sand people... Not that it does any good without the lights from town. We can't see anything in the desert at night. Makes sense. Tomorrow, I will. If we're still alive, we plan to head north. No, they headed north. Guess I'll work on the ship a while. 
So then... So you need me after all. There we go, now I can see, and so I don't have to worry about that glitch ever again. According to this data pad, the thieves headed in this direction. Alright, so I'll be back when I find any signs of Wyke's men. See ya. I was about to say. I'm back, hello. I finally found, um... The northern campsite, and we found another data pad. First Derek, then Jock, then Hayes, now Ford. I don't think I can take it anymore. I really think Paul is trying to kill me. He said it was the sand people who got Hayes and Jack, but he's lying. I can tell. He killed them while they slept, Hayes, because he had the artifact. Jack, because he accused. If I hadn't seen the sand people kill Fork and Narek with my own eyes, I don't. I, I think it. Let's pull. I uh, just hope that he doesn't find this or I'm next. We plan to head east in the morning. <sighs> that needs to go slower. If you know I can. If you know that I can. Words are hard. If you know how to slow that stuff down, please leave it in the comment section below. Until then, I'm gonna go hunting again for more signs. Be back. I'm back, hello! We found the uh, Eastern camp out. Let's see what the data pad said. says. It's all over now. Paul's gone rav raving mad. He accused Bix of trying to kill him at the last campsite and shot him. We're already deep into Sand People territory, and at the time, so the blasters. These blasts had us on the run for three days. Out of the 15 of us that started, there's only me and Pal left. Now Pal is talking about taking the artifact to the Sand People's camp to the north as a peace offering. I tried to tell him there's no way we could walk away from these beasts' campsite alive, but he wouldn't listen. <sighs> Alright, let's find Pal's body. Be back. And we're back, hello. I'm at the uh, Sand People's uh, main camp, and I found uh, Pal's body. Damned idiotic, nerve-hurting sons of hut! They got away. Not exactly. They were killed and possibly eaten. There's a difference. What? It doesn't bother you? These idiots run off with your artifact and you don't even get to knock them around? <laughs> I just can't figure you, Sith. They got what they had coming. It's enough to know that they suffered. For you, maybe. I was looking forward to shooting the eyeballs out of their skulls. But you're the boss, huh, Sith? Yep. Now, are we gonna get off this rock or what? So. I still have business to finish here. Well, when you do fly, mind taking me along? I'm a damn good pilot, and I've got contacts a Sith will never make on his own. It'll be your show, no questions asked. Mm, do I want him to give him a condition? What? Mm -hmm. If you insist. You have no intention of letting this drop, do you? Well, then let's get off this rock, huh? So he did have the artifact? Why does that not fill me with confidence? That, 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 whenever it says return to your ship's hangar, it's never good. It's never, ever good. That means I should be waiting for someone there. Either A. Tal. No, Kim. Kim and Val. That's right, Kim. Or B, one of the new apprentices. That's my prediction. It's either going to be Kim's pissed. Or it's one of um, Darth Zash's new apprentices. 
That's 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 my bet. Let's see if I'm right. When I get back to the hangar. And we're back. Hello, I'm about to uh, head down to the uh, hangar, and I really hope Kim's not mad. I just really hope it, it's not Kim. I mean, I would like to. F I mean, fighting Kim's kind of fun, but I really hope that's not it. Uh, hello. So you beat Wilkes and made it out of the desert alive, huh? Wilkes doesn't surprise me, but when I heard you uh... were running for the desert, well, I wasn't expecting to see either of you again. Surprise! Andronicus back. <laughs> you should stick with this one in Andronicus. You might learn a sense of humor. Look at I have a sense of humor. Relax, it was a joke. Hmm. Anyway, I'm glad you came, because it gives me a chance to thank you for taking out that runt, Wilkes. With some real leadership, maybe the exchange on Tatooine can move ahead for a change. Thanks for your help. I am most grateful. No problem. Anytime. Hey. And Andronicos? I'm sorry. It's alright, huh? We wouldn't have worked out anyway. All that shouting and throwing stuff. Somebody was bound to get hurt. No. Yeah, right. Well, guess it's goodbye then. Good luck out there. I forgot about Casey. I did. Let's go cause some trouble. And mayhem await. <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna make a damn good team, you and me. I like Let's him. Let's get off this rock, huh? But that was very unclimatic. Climactic. No boss fight. No nothing. I don't like it. Something's not right. This was way too easy. I did not spend all my time on Balmora for not. What the fuck is going on? Where the fuck is a boss fight on this planet? Something's not right. Something is not right. It's it's not fun knowing that something isn't right. Something. There's supposed to be a boss fight. This is worrying me. It's not funny. What the, what the fuck? That was way too easy. That, level, that wasn't some level 26 bullshit. That was more like level 5 bullshit. That was way too easy. I mean, yeah, you had that like one mini boss. That mid level boss fight. That's it? What the fuck? This is natural. I mean, yeah, you're supposed to kill 20 cent people, but... And I guess that can be difficult if they were anything besides sand people. I expected another boss fight. And this doesn't sit well. Something's not right. I'll see you guys back when I'm in space. I'm back. Hello. I'm finally in my ship. So, if Kim's over there, and he said he's a pilot, does that put him out front? Oh look, I was right. All right then, let's start this uh, hollow message. I'm still anxious, by the way, because it's Apprentice. that one storyline. Have a large effect, I take it. Wonderful. Ah, Andronicos, what a pleasure to see you again. Because of Hello the lack yourself. of boss fight. Looks like you finally found your rock. Yes, thank you for leading us to it so obligingly. I'm sure you'll be a wonderful asset to my apprentice's crew. Now, apprentice, you must hurry and recover the remaining artifact. This should be fun. I'm giddy with anticipation. I look forward to seeing you in your glory.
Ooh, possibly even a new saber. Uh, let's see here. I hate it when you do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Force. Min and max go up. 1927 30 30 <sighs> Fuck Which one do I want to do? Either way, I have to head over to Yeah, to do that, ma'am I'm sorry, but I have to play it safe and go with this one. Oh, excuse me. Alright then, let's see what Kim wants, because I haven't talked to Kim in an episode. In almost an entire episode. Sup? Bistana Fotu Peinana, Ja and Hafjans, Gap Ibalisu. My master's apprentice and his Darth. Dashi, my fellow shadow assassin, lives in my mistress' death. It does not claim him. What makes you so certain? How did you discover this? As if you recall from a cloak figure, the place was a fault on Tatooine. Swaiwai Silvans is allowed to speak to him. Let's go. We must get to Tatooine. Ni pate uvaro is sandan suare canidene, akja swaluda is. My, how convenient. We just happen to be flying over Tatooine, and what do you know? You get a sudden message from Tatooine. Shocking. Alright, Andron Makos, what do you want? What's up, mate? So what's the story, Sith? Seems like you know all about me, and I don't know nothing about you. I honestly can't get a straight read on you. Mm. And that's the way I like it. Secrecy is a Sith's best asset. Then you're a master Sith. Still, I like to know who I'm working with. Yeah. I was an accountant on Moneyland when I decided I wanted a little more adventure. <laughs> so I put a blaster to the head of the intergalactic banking clan and walked off with a few million credits. Been robbing and murdering ever since. I mean, I have a doubt because of a few million How much credits. Of that story is true. Does it really matter? In three years, the Sky Princess took more cargo and harassed more Republic ships than half the Imperial fleet. That's a good record. I'm a liar and a thief and a murderer, but I'm good. He is. And you still have not Why does it not just continue? I'm just gonna click on him again. Just keep playing it. You know, you got a pretty nice ship. It's no Sky Princess, but hey, what is? I had a ship like it once. No armor to speak of, but you don't need defense when you can maneuver like that. What happened to it? You didn't seem to have a ship when I met you. Yeah, got blown to pieces. But it was a thrill while it lasted. Nothing like playing chicken with a ship twice your size and then firing up his tail when he blinks. Sky Princess was great, but she couldn't do that. <laughs> Stay away from my controls. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I, I had... So why did you move on to the Sky Princess? I had to go with this one. Nice as a little ship like that is, you just can't carry enough cargo. And you burn too much fuel jumping to hyperspace. Yeah. Pirate's gotta make a living, and then he's gotta be able to escape when the pressure's on. This ship here, huh. best of both worlds. She'll fly like a dream, and then she'll jump away. 
You seem like a wild flyer. No offense, but I think I'll be doing the flying around here. Oh, what's the matter, Sith? Don't think I got the chops? <laughs> no, I don't have don't the worry. stomach. I'll look after her like she was my own mother. Not so much as a scratch. Again? You have more? Hey, you got time to chat? Always. Oh. Sure. Did you have something in mind? No. Nope. Just wondering. <sighs> Haven't been aboard too long. Like to know who I'm working with. Yes, like you said earlier. Touchy feely. Just enough to know you got my back. Help me, and I'll help you. You get my back. I'll get yours. Simple as that. We see eye to eye. Just one more thing. You ever butt heads with the Republic? Let me have a shot. I got a score to settle. And it'll be a long time before I call it even. What kind of score? <gasps> Jesus Christ! This is the most conversation I've had from one companion in a single sitting. You hear that, Sith? Nothing like it in the galaxy. The hum of an idling blaster. Potential energy right there. It's like waking up on your birthday wondering what you got. For a few minutes, it's anything. A whole galaxy just waiting for you to pull the trigger. Don't jump me. Uh, does it have a name? What do you call it? Nah, don't name my blasters. It's a bad idea to get attached. Actually, I was wondering. These blasters are nice. But a pirate's only as good as his equipment. We don't got fancy force powers like you Sith. Yeah. Here you go. What would I give him? Seriously, what would I give him? I'll keep an eye out. If I see a good pair come my way, you will be the first person I think of. Thanks. Good to know you got my back. Naturally. Jesus Christ, does this ever end? You know, I think I heard the ship's engine making a strange noise earlier. Mind if I check it out sometime? My hair. Yeah. It doesn't matter to me either way. I'm sure it's just some debris, but we don't want this thing tanking out on us in a pinch. Yeah. I'm no expert, but a buddy of mine back before the war taught me most of what I know. Carl Norn, best technician I knew. Worst card player. Never see when the deck was stacked against him, <laughs> and it always was. Sounds like a real winner. You have quite the colorful group of friends. Pirate business has all kinds of people. Mm. Made me first mate after the war on a ship called the Bloodshot Ranker. I learned a lot before he gambled the ship away. <laughs> You're sick of hearing me jabber, huh? A little bit, yes. God damn it! I mean, it's nice, but really, come on. Engine's fixed. Looks like we took on some rock on one of our last jumps. Nothing big. Reminds me of the time what we took jumps? I haven't moved. an asteroid field. Ship mechanics were furious. Clean rock out of our engines for weeks. Had to replace one of the rears. It was so badly damaged. An asteroid field? What were you doing in an asteroid field? Dodging the enforcers. When you got a fleet of Republic ships on your tail, you take whatever cover you can find. Rocks don't have cannons. <laughs> Besides, what's life without a little risk, huh? That's why I became a pirate. The risk, the reward, the freedom. I can appreciate it, and he is free. That's the same reason I became Sith. Though my freedom was perhaps more literal. Freedom's all in the mind. But it does help to have a good blaster. Or a good saber. Yes, you have more to talk about. I wouldn't be surprised if I managed to get level 30 just from these conversations. So what does a Sith do for fun? Kill. Uh, see things. Ah, oh, the usual. Lying. Killing. Manipulating. Sith is more of a lifestyle. And At least a title. you have a sense of humor about it, huh? <laughs> 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 
Seriously, I'm gonna reach level 30 at this rate! Need something. Pilot's report. On the ship line. Tight. Perfect. No complaints here. Then why? Finally! It's done! Oh, finally, except. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna have to call this episode here. Uh, next episode will be side quest on Tatooine, as well as finding the source code of the transmission. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!